Hello, this is NAV Talk Aktuell. My name is René Geier and I'm your moderator for the next 60 minutes. I am pleased to welcome you to our broadcast about Dynamics NAV architecture and patterns. Let me take this chance to welcome all our attendees from countries like France, UK, Spain, Sweden, the Netherlands, Denmark and of course Germany, Switzerland and Austria. In diesem Sinne auch herzlich willkommen. Dieser Webcast, diese Sendung wird heute in Englisch sein, die nächste Sendung danach wieder in Deutsch. Let me switch back to English. Before we start moving to our objectives for today, let me give you a short introduction. We will have approximately 60 up to 90 minutes of presentation. If you have any questions during the presentation, please use the TeamViewer chat feature in the TeamViewer pane to send the questions to us. I will pick it up and pass it to Mark. Usually we have no technical issues during a presentation, but today we are switching between Austria and the Netherlands. So if there should be an issue, please stay in the meeting or if required, log in again. The recording will be available for all participants 24 work hours after the broadcast. We will send you your login information in a separate mail. Moving to our objectives for today. Our goal for the next 60 minutes is to answer questions like what are design patterns and have a discussion about classes and methods in Dynamics NEV. Our speaker today is Dynamics MEP Mark Brummer. So, hi Mark and welcome at our broadcast NAV Talk Aktuell. It is a pleasure that you're supporting us today. Let me pass to Mark and this could take a minute to change the screen between Mark and us. So let me start by um, introducing myself and uh, thanking Rene for this uh, opportunity to share uh, some information uh, with you uh, using the NAV Talk. Um, Rene has asked me to uh, present a little about uh, design patterns and application architecture. Uh, the session that we're going to do today is based on uh, the patterns and the methodology um, that we have been working uh, for on the last uh, four or five years. Um, and it's basically a subset of a workshop that uh, I'm currently teaching. Um, and we have tried to take a couple of pieces from that workshop that generally people give the highest uh, valuation during the feedback. Um, but it's impossible to, to, to squeeze two days of workshop into one uh, NAV talk. So hopefully uh, if, if you all like it and you give the feedback that you want to see more, Uh, hopefully we can do more of these uh, uh, NAV talks about this subject um, in the next uh, episodes. Let me start to uh, introduce myself uh, a little bit. My name is Mark Brommel and I've been doing um, NAV and Navision for about 20 years. I started out as an end user and worked for a couple of NAV partners uh, before starting to work freelance about 10 years ago. Um, Writing clean code has always been a big passion of uh, of me. Uh, during the times that I worked for NAV Partners, I always wrote add-ons and challenges like uh, making your code upgradable, making your code understandable for other people in the team and other ISVs that resell your solutions and try to make your software perform uh, has always been uh, one of my challenges. Um, in 2010, I wrote a book called NAV Application Design, which was basically my first intention of, uh, of sharing some of that passion um, uh, with you. And I'm going to talk also a little bit more about what happened uh, after that book got shipped. Uh, let's go to the uh, agenda for today. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about what design patterns are in general. Um, I could easily fill a complete NAV talk to just talk about the concept, uh, but we don't have that time today. So I'm going to try to squeeze uh, that into a short introduction. And then we're going to talk about how we can work with a concept that we refer to as classes and methods in NAV with the intention of making your software easier to upgrade, easier to work with and more structured. And then um, during that, we're going to talk about 
a pattern which is one of my favorites, which is the argument table. That's really a great pattern that makes your software um, uh, more structured. Um, and then hopefully if you like this, uh, we're going to talk about methodology to refactor your application into this uh, concept. And at the end, we will summarize what we have learned. And there is opportunity to do a Q&A um, if you have questions based on what we talked about. So let's start with a quick introduction about uh, design patterns and where it comes from. Um, the definition of a design pattern is a common solution to solve problems. Um, it's taken from traditional architecture into computer science. Uh, this happened between the 70s and the 90s. And in the 1990s, it has been formalized within computer science for object-oriented programming. Uh, this has been done by uh, the Gang of Four and POSA. These are two separate groups. One of them was in uh, uh, North America and the other one was in Germany. And basically, the two groups had the same idea about how about writing down uh, some best practices about how object-oriented programming can work better and how to formalize some of the terminology. Um, basically, what we try to do with the design patterns from NAV perspective is we're trying to describe the NAV and the uh, DNA. Um, typically, if you talk with Navision developers that have been with the product for a long period, uh, many people talk about this in the Navision way. So um, the Navision way of doing things, uh, there's, there's just these typical things that if you take uh, application design training or solution developer, you learn everything about um, master data entries, um, number series, address, format address formatting, and uh, how posting routines work. Um, and what we tried to do with uh, design patterns is that we formalize this into structures, stru structured documentation that is easy to understand and we can teach this to people that come from outside of our ecosystem and, and try to make them understand uh, what a typical way is that we do stuff in NAV. We also try to look at what other object-oriented programming languages do and we're try to implement these concepts into CAL. Um, in CAL we have some typical uh, elements like we typically don't normalize the application both from um, a, a data model but also from a code perspective. Uh, this is the way that things have been done in the vision for a while uh, but from a certain perspective we're trying to move away from that a little bit by trying to make the code um, more organized and easier to reuse um, especially since uh, the NAV application is now about 30 years old um, a lot of the elements that we have in the vision uh, date back to the starting dates um, and the application has been growing organically and by acquisition of modules. And if you look at uh, NAV or Navision currently and you try to learn the application and you try to work with the application, then one of the things that is starting to backfire to us is that uh, we have become our own legacy software and um, software, instead of being normalized, has been cloned. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of examples in NAV where instead of trying to refactor something into a module, we just copy and paste and then just start dancing away. And that's something that we try to move away from to make the software more organized. And that's one of the things that we're going to talk about uh, today as well. So let's look at a little bit of uh, history about 